Hello, my name is Nick Danks and I'm the Director of Studies in Music and also the Director of Music at Corpus Christi College, which basically means I oversee all of the musical life of the college, both academic and practical. I come to this from both angles because I myself was an undergraduate at Corpus. Uh, I was an organ scholar and I read music and it's a great privilege to find myself back here several years later being the Director of Studies and Director of Music. So in terms of reading music at Cambridge, people come to read music for all sorts of different motivations and reasons. Some people have been proficient performers for many years and reached a very high standard on their musical instruments and are partly attracted by the very vibrant musical life of the university, both at university level and at college level. Other people have come to music at a relatively later stage and they want to find out a bit more and dig down deeper into their interests, into the pieces of music they like and also why they like certain pieces of music and what else is there to explore. Um, the music course at the university is very wide ranging and as you will see from the various music faculty web pages and the college web pages, you can choose very much your, your own path. Everyone comes and has a first year where they have a grounding in the basic fundamental topics, the traditional topics like harmony and counterpoint, um, analysis, um, uh, oral practical musicianship skills and history, but also where they get introduced to other aspects of musicological study, which they might not have encountered before or only very briefly touched upon, such as ethnomusicology or psychology or music and science. So the first year you do a bit of everything. And then in the second and third years, you can start to choose your own papers and devise your own pathway and really kind of make your own tripos course, depending on what your particular interests uh, and skills are. And that's the great thing, I think, about particularly the first year course where you're introduced to lots of um, new ideas and um, are conditioned in ideas and skills which you already have some basic knowledge of because you might find that what you thought were your main interests and skills turn out to be something different after your first year. Um, I can remember coming really as an undergraduate with a very arts background, arts A-levels um, and not really having a huge amount of interest in science being really interested by the, the then music and science paper, uh, which was a paper called Perception and Performance. And uh, it so interested me and motivated me that I actually, to my surprise, found myself taking that paper, choosing to take that paper um, in my final year. So you never quite know what direction your interests might be taken. Some people, of course, have a very fixed idea and, and just find that coming here, the musical life of the university and college actually affirms that um, and they come away strengthened with that. And of course, there's so much music making going on at both university and college level. At Corpus, we're a relatively small college, so we have a very intimate family atmosphere. Um, the practical music making is very much student led. We have a, um, a very vibrant um, and high level chapel choir who sing regularly for chapel services. Um, but we have a college music society which is active in putting on informal lunchtime recitals and also larger scale projects such as operas, perhaps in the Fellows Garden or in our wonderful gardens at our postgraduate campus of Leckhampton. So basically, if you've got an idea and you're undergraduate or postgraduate student at Corpus and there's a musical project you wish to put on, you've got a, a bucket list musical project you'd like to do. It's my job to help you achieve that.